flashback. Anybody trying to arrest me again after my freedom will die. Nam the canoe spit fire. Mazi Nam the canoe. Yes, um, it is actually a flashback after the arrest of the IPOP leader um, back then in 2017. In 2017, so um, the the DSS is actually having a flashback on Namdi Kano's statement um, after he fled back to the UK. Okay, so they are just looking for one excuse that they will give that will make them make it look like this is the reason why we don't want to set in frame or something like that but to me i don't think there is any reason at all okay let's quickly as a matter of fact let us um, give it um, a quick look and then let's be sure of what uh, was actually uh, revealed or what the authenticity of this very news actually is what do you think let's quickly check it this is today's news Nam the Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP a group that want to create a separate country called Biafra which will be independent from Nigeria has been very outspoken about his belief and has made many strong statements. Kano was arrested by the Department of State Services DSS and spent 18 months in detention on April 25th 2017, Bentaniako, a justice of the Federal High Court in Abuja, granted him bail. However, Kano did not follow the condition of his bail, which led the federal government to call for his bail to be revoked. On a Sunday at Boys Technical College, BTC in Abba, Abia State. Kano spoke to his followers. He paid tribute to those who were reportedly killed at National High School by security agencies. He said that the quest for Piafra is unstoppable and called it a message from heaven. Kano insisted that there will be no election in Anambra State unless a referendum for Piafran is conducted. Kano spoke strongly about his commitment to Biafra. He said that Abia is the spiritual capital of Biafran land and that their movement began there in 2015. He mentioned that many people were killed while protesting for his release. He vowed that they will not rest until Piafra is restored. Well, that is when he actually made that comment when um, he was, um, you know, arrested and detained as at then. But be that as it may, I am of this opinion that the federal government should just let be or let go whatever may have transpired or said and let the IPOP leader go considering what is currently happening or what the happening actually is at present. I'll be waiting at this I talk is I feel I don't know about you. Alright so your listeners listening to this very news it's wonderful having you through this very platform. Thank you for giving us your um, your listening ear. 
please um, don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you